Okay, what's up, everybody? Uh, tip of the week, I'm Polly. This is Polly's Productions Recording Studio. Uh, this tip will be how to get acoustic drums to snap to the grid. Uh, if, you're doing, if you're doing a backing track or you're, you're playing to a hip-hop track or you're doing metal drums, all that's got to be on point, okay? So let's look at it real quickly. Oops, sorry about that. Let's play... Okay, so that's what we're going to be messing with. It's it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. So You can tell some of them are late. Let's zoom in quite a bit. Uh, this guy is pretty late. Just It can be tightened up, so let's tighten it up. First things first, let's make a group. It's just the tracks we're messing with. Command G, Command G, there we go, okay, what a group does is allows me to move these faders, what, mess, what, what I do to one track it'll do to all of them basically, okay, so next let's select this area that we want to mess with, go to event, Beat Detective or Command 8. Analyze. Bring your sensitivity up. What that does is recognizes all the hit points and transients and whatnots. So let's zoom in. You don't want to get too crazy um, if you don't have to. I'm just mainly trying to capture that kick and snare and the cymbal hits. So I'm going to call that good. I'm going to go to clip separation and separate. What that does is separate everywhere that pink line was. That's the sensitivity um, transient recognition. Okay. So now it's all separated. I'm going to say conform. And this is all depending on how the track is, right? Your strength it could be 62% or whatever. Um, that's just how much it's going to move to the grid so if it's an inch away it's going to be 62 percent closer i guess you know to this to snap to the grid it's so conform okay so that moved everything by 62 percent closer to where it should be okay you can see things have moved Let me turn that click off real quick. Okay, so there's definite cracks and dropout in audio. Actually, let's move it just for demonstration's sake up to 100%. We'll say conform. Now let's listen to it. Okay, so you can really hear the dropouts, right? So, I would never move it that much, probably, because it, it begins to sound unnatural. But we can come in here and say Edit Smoothing, Fill, and Crossfade. I'm going to zoom in so we can see what it does. It's going to fill this in with audio and crossfade the two regions together. So, we'll say Smooth. Okay. There it is. We'll hit play. And that's pretty on point. Let me play it with the click. Yeah, I'd call that good. Last thing, what I do is we'll conform um, or consolidate, I think is what Pro Tools calls it, all those regions make them all one so now everything looks normal we're back to normal that's it that's how you get live drums to snap to the grid thanks for watching Polly's Productions check us out later